Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I've talked about trespassing a few times in the past in different contexts. And uh, I recently did the video about the band director who got tased because he wouldn't stop his band from playing after he had been told to have them stop. And a lot of people uh, in the discussion below the video and also in various places like Facebook were arguing about whether or not somebody could ask him to leave. I got a very, very angry email from a guy who said, Steve, they cannot make that man leave that field. That's, that's ridiculous. And, and um, I guess there's some, I think, misunderstanding as to how trespass works and what trespass is, because I believe that was the underlying concept there. That is, that there is a place, uh, and it would be the field uh, where they play football at a school, There'd be somebody who's in charge of that place, a school administrator of some sort, and that school administrator presumably would have said, you need to leave, and then the person didn't leave. That's that's the theory. And I know some people are going to say, but Steve, it was a police officer who told the man to leave, and it was there was some lack of clarity on this, as you'll recall, because the body cam footage even said that the conversation was unintelligible. No one could tell what was being said. So I am talking in theory here about what could have happened simply because people were telling me it was impossible. There's no way legally they could eject that guy or his uh, band from that field. And I believe there is. So I'm going to talk about what trespass is in Michigan, but this is going to be similar in most states. The reason I'm using Michigan is, number one, the blue books behind me contain the law, so they're very accessible to me. Also, I'm familiar with the law in Michigan, so it's easier for me to discuss it and get all the nuance out there. But I checked a couple other states, and the statutes in other states are very, very similar. But you need to understand the most basic concept, and that is what does trespass mean in this sense. And trespassing is, in fact, an old common law concept that goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. And uh, it is talking about who has the right to be on a piece of property and who has the right to eject people from it. So if I own a piece of property, let's say I own a piece of property. It's one acre square. I own it. I bought it. I, I, I went through the whole process. It's recorded wherever they record the property ownership. I own this property. I put a fence around it, and I'm inside my property. I'm allowed to be there because I own it. I can also invite other people onto my property, but they don't own the property. They are simply there. I then have the right to tell them to leave. I can eject them from the property. I also can exclude people from my property. So I put up the fence, and I put up no trespassing signs. When someone wanders onto my property, I can say, excuse me, you're not supposed to be here. There's a sign telling you so, and I'm now ejecting you. Get off my property. I have the right to be on my own property. I have the right to exclude others from it. That's the basic concept of land ownership. And then trespass are violations of that. So if someone comes onto the property without permission, they can be trespassing. If they won't leave after being told to leave, they can be trespassing. So for instance, let's suppose that I said, hey, come on over to my place, we're having a party. You come on over to my place, we have a party. And about four o'clock in the morning, I start walking around, sweeping up the guests, and I say, hey, it's time for you to go. And you're a belligerent drinker, and, and, and you've been drinking, and you're belligerent. You go, I'm not going anywhere, man. I'm having fun. What are you, a party pooper? It's four o'clock in the morning. I got to go to work tomorrow morning. I got videos to shoot. (laughs) You go, I'm not going anywhere. I can then call the police and go, this person won't leave. The police are going to look at you and go, come on, let's go. And if you go, no, I'm not going anywhere. He invited me on the property. Guess what? I've got the right to rescind that invitation and I have the right to eject you. Boom. So you'll get arrested, and you'll probably get arrested for, among other things, trespassing. So in Michigan and in many places, trespassing can be both a crime and a civil action, meaning criminally you can be arrested for it. Civilly, you can be sued for it. So if you come onto someone's property and cause some harm, they can sue you for the damages. Uh, If you come on the property and cause no harm, sometimes you can be sued for a nominal amount just because you shouldn't be doing that. But here's what the trespass statute actually says, and this will clarify a lot of the confusion about who can tell someone to get off the property. 
So I'm talking about MCL 750.552, trespass upon lands or premises of another, exceptions, violations, penalties, process server, etc. Because there's an exception for process servers, I'm not going to get into that today. Too far afield. But it says, a person shall not do any of the following. A person shall not do any of the following. So if you do this, you're breaking the law. Enter the lands or premises of another without lawful authority after having been forbidden to do so by the owner or occupant or the agent of the owner or the occupant. And notice how inclusive those things are. You can't enter the lands or premises of another. So let's suppose I'm renting an apartment. I don't own the apartment. I'm renting the apartment. I have that epic party. You show up. It's 4 a.m. You won't leave. I call the cops. He doesn't own the place. It's an apartment. I need to see the, the actual landlord before. I, you can't kick me out. Yes, I can. Yes, I, I'm, I'm the occupant. Okay, I'm legally the occupant. I'm in charge of the place. I'm renting the place. Boom, there you go. So you can't enter the lands without, law, without lawful authority. Uh, and that is the lands of the premises. And after having been forbidden to do so. Okay, now you might say, but Steve, somebody's in there and you're telling them to leave. They had lawful authority. Oh, but B is you cannot remain without lawful authority on the land or premises of another after being notified to depart. So I notify you, it's time to depart. Uh, you got to go. And again, that can be by the owner or the occupant or the agent of the owner or occupant. And that is true in both subsections, that the agent of the owner or the occupant can eject you or forbid you to be on the property. So I've seen videos on YouTube on some of those police cam uh, channels. You can watch entire channels of nothing but police cameras. And I've seen somebody walk into a place like a store, like a business, and they won't leave. Cops show up. Someone called them. Cops walk up to somebody who's in the store and goes, why won't you leave? They go, I don't have to leave. This is a public place. No, it's a store. It's actually private. It's just open to the public. Well, yeah, it's open to the public. I'm public. I'm in here. Okay, but haven't you been asked to leave? Well, yeah, some store worker came up and asked me to leave, but it's, it's, it's hey, it's a store. I'm allowed to be here. No, they're an agent of the owner. An agent of the owner has asked you to leave. You've got to leave. And I've actually seen someone arguing on camera saying, they can't make me leave because they're not the owner. I want Sam Walton to come down here and actually kick me out himself, which might be kind of difficult to do these days, but I, you know, I want the owner down here. Well, number one, a lot of these businesses are owned by corporations. What do we do? Bring down the board of directors and have them sign a resolution to eject you? No, the agent of the owner can be the one who ejects you and tells you to be ejected. And if you won't leave, then you can get arrested. And if they wanted to, they could sue you, at least in Michigan. So you can't enter the lands or the premises of another without lawful authority after having been forbidden to do so by the owner or occupant or the agent of the owner. So the best example there is someone's been told you can never come back. Or a sign is posted that says you can't be here. Those are the two most common ways that happens. But likewise, you cannot remain without lawful authority after being notified to depart. So you've been notified by the owner, the occupant, or the agent of the owner or occupant? Then you better leave. And your failure to leave is trespassing. So there is a third one in Michigan, and a lot of states have got this. You cannot enter or remain without lawful authority on fenced or posted farm property of another person without the consent of the owner or his lessee or agent. A request to leave the premises is not necessary for this violation subdivision. And then so let's suppose that there's a piece of fenced property. Doesn't require signs, but it's obviously a farm. If you jump the fence to go into the farm property, you are trespassing under Michigan law. Like I said, some states have got that, some states do not. But there's no requirement for that to be posted. And so 
posting the land does put someone on notice that they are entering without lawful authority, and those signs could be posted by the owner, the occupant, or the agent of the owner or the occupant. So the theory, the theory, and again, we don't know yet what happened at that situation in Birmingham, Alabama with the band director because of the unintelligible audio that preceded the incident. But the thinking goes something like this. The band was invited to play at this event. They're there legally. They're playing legally. They're doing everything within the law. A certain time comes when the people who run the field say, we need people out of here. And I've heard it before where schools were told this field must be emptied by such and such a time because of like local ordinances on noise. There's people who live nearby who don't want to hear bands playing late at night because they live there. Okay, those are possibilities. I don't know about this case, but possibilities. So the time comes where the band is still playing and the people who run the place are going, okay, that should have stopped by now. Now, I understand that the real problem with this, and I talked about this in my first video, was the fact that the band played for about a minute and 36 seconds longer than they should have, which is not the end of the world. But let's talk about this in theory, okay? The band is playing beyond the point at which they should have been playing, according to the school. According to the school. That's not me speaking. I'm saying that's what the school says. So the school, one of the administrators, a person with authority, goes and finds the police and says that band won't stop playing and we need them to stop playing and leave. So the police officer then approaches the band director who's conducting in the middle of the song and a apparently says, it's time for you to shut down the show and leave. And at that point in time, that would be a lawful order if it was passed to him by an administrator who had the authority over that property. And again, I'm using examples from Michigan, so I suspect the law is the same in Alabama on this, and that is that the person who's in charge of that property does have the right to tell people to leave, and if they won't leave, can then ask the police to enforce that. That's the thinking. Now, as I said in the video, the band director kept directing, said, get out of my face. It's unclear if you realized it was a police officer talking to him, and it's also unclear if you understood what was being said to him because of all the noise, particularly because there was a band playing. But I had several people tell me, including a guy who was apparently a former band director, who said, Steve, when the band director is conducting, no one can interrupt him, not even the police. <laughs> so apparently, in the grand scheme of authority in this world, band directors while playing are right up near the top of people you cannot interfere with on, under any circumstance. <laughs> so the real key here is, was the owner or the agent of the owner or occupant giving the order to leave the premises? And if they were, and that order wasn't being followed, then in fact, it rises to the level of trespass. And at that point, you can ask a police officer to enforce it for you. And that's what the process of the thought was that evening. Again, we don't know because the facts are unclear. Keep in mind that the law will always address the theoretical. And then the real cases might be very, very different factually. And then it's up to a jury to straighten it out. Will a jury convict that band director of trespassing for failing to stop playing a minute 36 seconds earlier because he was told to do so by a police officer. I don't know, but I do know that they charged him with a bunch of other stuff, and one of them was failure to abide by a lawful order. And when asked, was it a lawful order that the officer gave to the band director, that's one question. And then the real factual question is, when the police officer gave that order, would you expect that the band director could have comprehended it, heard it, understood it under those circumstances? That's a better question because I think that's the best defense here is obviously somebody walks up in the corner of my field of vision and starts talking to me while I'm conducting the last song of the evening. I didn't catch there's a police officer, especially after the lights went down. So there you go, but that's how trespassing works. And so the person who can eject you from the property can be the owner, the occupant, or the agent of the owner or the occupant, and they can keep you off the land 
or they can exclude you once you've come onto the land, even if they let you on legally in the first place. That's the deal with trespassing questions, your comments, and band directors, feel free to comment below. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice.